Hey, it's Joe Lyons from Automator, and uh, someone the other day said that their their hot strings, or hot keys, I forget which one, weren't working. Uh, one of the first things when people say that they have a problem with uh, auto hotkey not working, whether it's sending keystrokes or whatnot, uh, I, I suggest raising the level of the program, the script you're running, to an admin. And let me let me show you how I do it. Let's switch here. So this is a script. I think it was actually Lexicos that wrote this. I forget who initialized it. Um, I think I have a post here. We can go look at it. But what this does is says, hey, if this script is not, this is the exclamation point not, is, is admin. So this is basically, this returns a zero because that variable to every script, right? You have access to it. If it's not an admin, um, run as you know and then the path to this script so it's going to launch it as an admin um, and then exit uh, the uh, so this is only happens if this is not an admin if it's already an admin then it doesn't do a darn thing this just makes sure it runs an admin so you can you can shove this into the beginning of your script and then just see if it works you know maybe your hot key or hot string will work if it doesn't work a couple other things you might check um, i would also temporarily Turn off the UAC, look up UAC user access control, I think user access something. Um, and you can turn it up and down. Let me let me see here if I, uh, I'm going to type my things on the other page, unfortunately. But user, user account control setting is what I see here. And now the window here, we can see it. I have mine off, so I don't recommend for you, because I but I know what I'm doing, right? Um, normally, it's up around here. Now, if you're at work, sometimes you can't even do this, right? But I will turn this all the way down or off. It just is a test, right? And then do it. So these are quick things you can test to see uh, if it if it fixes it. Then you got to figure out how to do it. The the other option is you can create a shortcut. So create a shortcut to your script. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and do this. Let me get down to my desktop here. Let me check out a lot of stuff, of course. So um, let's say I want to launch this as an admin. I can right click on it. So you go to properties. And then go to advanced and see this run an administrator. So click that and hit OK. When you do, the next time you launch it from there, it's going to launch that script as an admin. The other thing you have to keep in mind is when you do that, especially the other way I showed you, where it's an auto hotkey script, any script that that script where you're running an admin launches, those will also be run as an admin. So you've got to be a little careful and understand what you're doing. But this is really just a quick, easy way to say, hey, does doing this take care of the problem, right? It's not the and fix, but it can help pinpoint what you have to look at and what you want to, you know, figure out what's going on. Hope that helps. Cheers. Hey, if this video helped you get your script to work, please like it or make a comment if you had to find some other fix for it. It's really great to collect some FAQs of what people go through and how they determine, you know, what works and what doesn't work. Cheers.